Hello everybody and welcome, welcome. Today we have a speed build and a pre-build. So this is going to be for apartment number two uh, for our modern apartment, which is going to have a total of six apartments. But we are focusing on apartment number two today. As you can see, this is the exterior that we're going to be working with. And then heading inside, this is the interior. So all of the apartments will have the same wallpaper and the same flooring. It's just a case of they will all have a different layout and they are all different sizes. So there's, uh, as I mentioned, six apartments total in this uh, in this building. I've built like a little laundry area and a lobby area in the centre there so that it's something that they can all share. And then they each have uh, all their different uh, own separate apartments. So we're currently working on the ground floor the first floor whichever way you want to put it and I am building a one bedroom home and this is for a single woman and she is into plants so she is definitely a plant lover this one um, so she loves her plants and she is also um, a really nice little lovely lady uh, who loves her greenery so she's just a nice lady who has to live in an apartment rather than out there, maybe in Hemford on Bagley, where she would dream of living, where it's all just like simple living and growing her own plants and you know, all that sort of thing. So that is the person that I'm building for today. So as you can see, I'm working on the kitchen and going through a few options. So once again, I was just kind of struggling with the, as much as I love the Home Chef Hustle corner shelving thing, they sometimes don't work with the kitchens that I'm doing so uh, I have to change around the top cabinets that I'm using uh, to not be Home Chef Hustle so I've, I think I've actually used the cool kitchen cabinets up the top there and um, all the Home Chef Hustle uh, cabinet stuff down the bottom so that's the oven the, um, the hood the cabinet the sink and the fridge so I'm just getting some aprons there and I'm just putting a little bit of artwork there uh, what do I use I think I just I was initially gonna do like a board or something but it just looked a bit messy so I was like hmm no nah, maybe not so I uh, found this like little plaque thing and I thought well you know what actually that might work so just doing like a little bit of clutter in the kitchen just to give it a little bit of life and of course I've got to put a plant in there because she loves her greenery so she's gonna have quite a few little plants around the place because she does love the old gardening as I mentioned and um, she is she does like to socialize she's not particularly romantic I don't think but she does yeah she does like to socialize and has a bit of a good time with her friends so I did something like no I'm sure you guys if you've watched my builds before you've seen me do the shrinking dishwasher trick where I uh, get a dishwasher under a counter shrink it down and then I can put a rubbish bin under the counter this time around I put did that put the rubbish bin on the counter but I've actually used the um, dream home decorator little coffee table type thing and I've just like put some use it this kind of like shelving under <laughs> underneath just for something different and just put some mugs on there because it wasn't too much that could fit on there and um, just done like a little breakfast bar there I'm gonna use this little corner here as a little dining nook so it's, it's, it's quite a, if, if you've watched the first build in this uh, little mini series, I guess it is, um, the first apartment was a masculine apartment, uh, so it was all sort of browns and, uh, well it was brown and white and blues in the bedroom as well, and uh, in that apartment we actually where the dining is going in here we actually built the kitchen so that's a little bit different and I think this is a slightly bigger apartment as well so it's a little bit more space and but the for the, for the color palette for this build um, I'm sure you're probably gathering it's going to be green <laughs> so it's going to be green and white uh, light browns it's going to be really light and airy um, going for the more pastel sort of shades uh, for a young woman 
than it is for uh, you know the darker shades that we did in the first apartment so just working through how I want this all to sit oh I'm just putting like a little plant I wanted to have like a little plant uh, sitting in the corner there so just gonna do that that's from the blooming room kit that little plant I love that little plant it is adorable I decided to change the window as you can see there I was gonna move the window along to the corner but that just didn't quite work with uh, it being a column so yeah so I changed that back to where it was I have put a curtain on there but I don't think that stays there I decided I didn't like that curtain after all and uh, you can sort of see the layout is coming together now so you can see where the living area is going to be so you're going to enter into the into the apartment and then uh, go straight into the living area and then you've got your dining off to the right and then your kitchen off to the left as you're walking in and then you've got the bedroom and behind the living room and then the bathroom is only accessible through the through the bedroom I was very much building which is what I actually did in the uh, first apartment as well I built the uh, the bathroom in through I don't know what I was doing there don't ask <laughs> um, I was building the bathroom uh, in through the through the bedroom because it is a one bedroom place and the whole idea is yeah that it's not gonna they're not gonna be like guest bedrooms in these in these particular apartments they're very much sort of more on suite bathrooms than guest bathrooms but you know they're accessible so if a guest wants to use them then I guess they just have to go through the bedroom so this is going to be a sort of a living room study area I did debate what I kind of want to do here I do shift this around a little bit and have a good play around I'm using the dream home decorator stuff as you can see here but this will change around a little bit because I decided I wanted to put a desk in here as well I just wish like the wood on the dream home decorator pack was a little more in keeping with the woods that we have in other packs uh, that's the only thing I just like that drives me a little bit batty with the dream home decorator pack is that the woods just are just not quite that right shade you know so I fussed around with the shelving on this for a little while just to get it sitting the way that I wanted it to sit because I wanted to have like um, hanging shelves and just sort of have it over the over the desk as well but anyway got there eventually just fluffing around with it and just sort of making it like a you know as sort of a uniform kind of set with your books in there and the TV unit and little bits and knickknacks and stuff on the uh, on the other end what am I gonna put on the desk oh yeah bits and pieces just from the everyday I mean the everyday clutter kit I use it all of the time so yeah if you are a builder and you want some you know, don't have the kits honestly the build by kits I use all the time um, the everyday clutter and the bathroom clutter definitely and like the industrial loft kit I absolutely love I think that's a gorgeous kit and um, the modern luxe kit I mean it depends on what kind of build you, you like to do as well if you, if you would find them useful or not but um, I do an assortment mainly sort of more contemporary and modern but you know I do do an assortment <laughs> uh, but yeah in modern in modern contemporary builds definitely all this clutter and bits and pieces are very useful so then moving on I'm just working on a rug for the middle of the room I'm just flicking through a few options uh, and hating them all <laughs> until I get to the white one and that worked so that's basically the living area done so I'm just going to move on to the bathroom so this is a little bit of a bigger bathroom than what we had in the first apartment um, I'm just putting in the windows because I didn't have those in the, the the shell if you want to download it it is available on the gallery to download it just as a shell if you want to build your own apartments as well and well, you can do whatever you like with it really it's up on the gallery for you and uh, just velvet b is uh, my name on the gallery if you'd like to check me out but oh, what was i saying oh it doesn't matter so <laughs> uh, just putting some little bits and pieces once again the bathroom clutter kit uh, coming through for me just like the the thing that i like about it is there's a lot of the stuff is like the small slot stuff so it does go on the shelves as you can see here whereas a lot of the other clutter that you get with like base game and stuff it is 
quite as like a medium or large size slot on shelves which means like they don't actually fit on the likes of the immaculate shelving because those are all just small shelf slots does that make sense i don't know if that makes sense but i it makes sense in my head like it, the shelves have different size slots on them or the you know things like counters will have a larger slot on it so you can put larger items on there but the shelves only have like a small slot so only small slot items will fit on there and yeah there isn't a lot of small slot items uh, that would fit on there unfortunately but the kits actually resolve that a little bit um, with the items but it's just the you know the accessibility for people with the kits is really the problem because you know if it was something that you know everybody could have like you know simple base game stuff that you know would fit in the small slots then you know that's a lot more i, I feel better about using stuff that is more accessible for people um, then you know stuff that's it's a little bit harder for you know everybody to have so anyway uh, in this instance I have just decided to use everything so sorry <laughs> to those that don't have the kits um, hopefully there will be some good replacements in the in the base game uh, I don't know about on the shelves but maybe for some of the other stuff anywho moving on so I love this bed <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I can use this uh, this swatch in the bedroom because it's the green, it's got some planty, and I thought that's absolutely perfect for our planty little sim that's going in here. And yeah, I love that. Um, I love that swatch, and I love that it's got like gold on the headboard. It's not a headboard, but like the frame. That's what I'm going for on the frame as well. And that actually works in really nicely with the growing together. Um, end table which you see I've put there and the growing together shelves um, they've got the gold on them as well so I changed the color of those so that they were the had the gold running through them too on the metal uh, on the metal framing oh the bed um, I think that is from high school years I think the shape looks like high school years um, but I can't quite remember but I think possibly. So I'm just getting some more greenery in here because I needed more greenery, obviously, for our planty sim. I mean, she's kind of limited as to what she can have in there, but she'll uh, definitely have as many plants as she can. I mean, I could have gone like even crazier on the plants, I guess, but I didn't want to make it overly cluttered at the same time. She does have to work a full-time job, so it'd just about be a full-time job just to keep them all <laughs> watered all the time. Uh, I couldn't find artwork that I liked by the way so I ended up going with um that one I th oh it's just from a stuff pack which stuff pack though I can't remember uh, I kind of feel like it's like the cool kitchen one but I could be wrong on that so I just wanted to go for like quite a neutral kind of vaguely greeny kind of uh vibe with the pictures and ended up just stealing one from the living room and swapping those around <laughs> as you do oh and then the rug uh actually it was like I was a little bit worried about getting the color right on that but I actually came across one that worked really nicely pretty quickly and I'm just using some frames there because that worked, those work really nicely color wise with the shelving and then I just was going to put like a last little bit there and then we're done so I just tweaked a couple of little things I added a little bit more greenery into the house but as you can see here this is for our modern planty single lady sim who loves to garden so this is her place so we've gone with a really nice mint green in the corner there with the dining nook and then it's uh sort of the pastel greens in the living area and then the green uh that we get with the home chef hustle actually is that the growing together um fridge oh yeah i think it is is it oh, i'm confused now about what i've put in there Oh well, it's either or. Um, <laughs> and then going through to the living area, I love that egg chair. I think that's so cute and I love how it matches the, the couch as well. Then going into the bathroom, I think it was the Jungle Adventure uh, bathroom stuff with the... And not the shower, that's not Jungle Adventure. And I think the um, Dream Home Decorator counters and then going into the bedroom we've got our lovely patterned uh, duvet slash blanket slash whatever you want to call it on the bed and I think that just works so perfectly for the sim and I think it's a really lovely green fresh feeling room uh, for her that uh, I think works really nicely for this apartment 
So this is going into our floor plan there. So we've got the bed, the bath, the kitchen, living and dining area. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you join me for apartment three, which should be out very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.